In this lesson, we'll be going over the color setting options you have in PrintMate. We have color profiles set for a combination of blanks, paper, and color preferences. Even then, there will still be times when you need additional control over your color. PrintMate has two features that provide additional color control, color sliders and spot colors. We'll start with our color sliders. This feature allows you to adjust aspects of your image color, such as saturation, contrast, and the amount of a specific color that is included in your image. Before you adjust the sliders, go ahead and select the basic settings for your print file, such as product and paper. This way, the correct profile for your project is in place before you make your adjustments. Next, you will go to the Color Management tab and click on Custom. You can adjust the sliders depending on your color needs. You can use the sliders or type the input values. Once you have the values you want, hit Apply to Image and you will see the preview change automatically. If you would like to save these settings, click Save as Custom, then enter a name for your settings and hit Save as Custom again. Going forward, if you want to use these settings again, you can just choose that custom set and hit apply to image. Another way you can impact your color output is by using spot colors. Spot colors allow you to upload or create color tables. This is very helpful if you need to print a color that has specific values, such as a logo. This allows you to input values and make sure that the color prints exactly as expected. To use this feature, you will go to the settings and click Enable Spot Colors. When you do, spot colors will appear in your settings. We have put a sample color table of frequently used colors in PrintMate for you to use. In today's example, Let's say that your image uses a very specific paint that isn't printing out correctly. By using spot color, you're telling the system that when it sees pink with those values, it needs to change it to other values instead. Click on Create a new table, enter the name, select the table, and click on New Swap. Add your spot color name and change the color value. You can enter RGB, CMYK, or hex colors. Enter the input values for your red, then under output, enter the values that you want to change it to for printing. Not sure which values to use? You can print a color chart to find output values for your color matching. Clicking Find Similar Color will print a chart of similar shades. Print and press the chart, and then find the shade that is closest to what you need. You can then enter these as your output values. This is very helpful for color matching. You can also import a color table to bring in color values you've already saved. This file must be saved in XML format. Choose your printer, your paper size, the values you want, and lastly, your increment size. Increment size determines whether you're seeing a large or small range of color swatches. To complete your color swap, under the file name on the main panel, choose the table you want to apply. You will now see your color change in the preview. Now you're ready to print with the colors you desire. Thank you for watching. Please continue with our Academy courses to learn even more about how to find success with your Sawgrass system.